Hi everyone! So Spellbinders recently released their uh, new collections for November 2024. Part of that collection, or those new collections, is this sweet little guy um, from the Monster Friends collection. And his name is Rocky the Dancing Yeti. And, um, you know, in the images there's one other little guy. I don't see him on the site yet, so... He's not on the Spellbinder site, at least. And so usually what happens is I get, you know, my samples. Anyway, so anyway. usually what happens is, you know, I get sent my samples. So, like, Spellbinder sent these uh, items free of charge from my review. And, of course, all opinions are my own. And then the links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So I appreciate you using those if you would like. I link them to Spellbinders US and UK. And then possibly these things are on Scrapbook or some other sites that uh, I might have affiliate relationships with. Maybe you'll find them at your local Scrapbook store, things like that. So um, it's possible that on Scrapbook they have the other little character. It's another little monster. But today we have um, this little guy here. So this month they don't have a ton of collections that they released I know um, usually they have like 10 or 12 collections I think there might be five maybe six I have a few of them I do also have the um, cute felt uh, lineup I guess by Nicole Spore super adorable um, they're a nice size I don't feel like they're gonna make small projects that are like hard to work with or anything like that so we'll get to those in a subsequent video and um, you know some new stamp sets all these other different things but today we're gonna focus on uh, Rocky here so uh, yeah I mean hopefully you can see his little body there he does have the little dancing kind of thing going so he has his little arms um, accents for his arms I believe for his little feet and everything I mean he can have or it can be whatever you want so maybe like a little gal or a put on a gift or however so she's got a little bow or he does um, cute little face a uh, little belly button um, with the little eyeballs um, I don't know if this is the eyeball or not I have to check on that um, there's accent pieces like he has like a little cup uh, different hats like a party hat he has like a little warm hat he has like a Santa hat he's got a little flower horns if you want they have like um, earmuffs the um, or ear warmers that part there oh here I think this is for the eyeballs these little guys I mean he can have like horns or like these antler type things uh, a scarf I mean just all kinds of different things to decorate him with I believe this is his little tooth this piece like if you slide it in here it's like a little tooth again just accent pieces for your flower um, just a lot going on so you, it can be for all throughout the year or just you know Christmas time or however right he's got all these different things going so what I'm going to do I believe if this isn't his eyeball then it's probably just maybe for the top of the hat I don't know <laughs> oh that's what it is it's not a hat it's an ice cream cone now that I remember I remember seeing a cone in there so that's probably that okay but I guess it could be a hat <laughs> so yeah he's got like warm weather gear more than anything and then again like their cute little bow and stuff so just different ways to dress to dress him up let me grab some paper and we will get started okay guys I have a little tea here <laughs> and okay so I have an A2 size card. It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. If you're making your own, I have this cute uh, green background. I thought that'd be really fun because if he's a little Yeti guy, you know, I'm looking at these blues, maybe some white colors. I don't know, uh, maybe even purple, something cute, right? We'll mix in there. Um, so I have those pieces for that. But for right now, I have this. I think I'm gonna run this through the. Um, embossing folder of the month for November because it has like little streamers it's just cute so I'll do that I'm gonna run that through and I'll be right back and since it is just a standard embossing folder it's if you're using universal it's a B and then just a cutting plate very cute so I'm just gonna glue that down okay so we have that ready to go I'm gonna focus on his little body right now um, again he's a dancing character if you want him to dance he doesn't have to um, all that means is you're gonna put a little foam dot here and then that moves around right so I'm um, trying to see let me see these are his legs and his little arms I think I'm gonna do this with a purple um, just something fun and the bulk of his body can be this little bit deeper blue so I guess that would be that and then um, his little belly and face area I'll do the lighter blue this one has like a texture so I'm gonna turn it over I like the color of the paper I just don't know that I want the texture so I'll cut it on that side um, he has little accent pieces like for his little hands and like feet or paws or whatever you want. I don't know. It's a Yeti. <laughs> um, I'll probably make it the same color as his body. And I think that's all I need. I mean, we do need the eyes. Okay, let's do that. Uh, ooh, eh, no, let's just wait. <laughs> so let me cut this main, these main pieces and then I'll be right back. 
Oh, his little face is so cute, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, we have our little guys here. And I was just going to say, I left my glue in the RV. So, let me see if I have another one uh, available here. They are good. Um, okay, so we have his little uh, feet here. And I think his little hands are this other top portion. So, um, I just want to make sure I have his little legs. Okay. Well, obviously it's this part. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here. You can put it on the piece if you prefer. Um, and then, you know, obviously they go like left and right. They do have like little embossed areas. Let's bring this closer so we can follow that. So like there. And then this guy over here. I'm just placing, I wasn't really trying to line it up with those little embossed areas, but just so you know, you know, which was left and right. And then his little hands um, come out of his little fuzzy arms, and I guess it depends on what you want to do. I mean, if you want it to face like this way, that way, does this one go up? If I was going to have him holding the mugs, I think the little mug is very cute. So um, let's just pop those on. These kind of look the same, don't they? So again, I'm just going to put a little glue back here. And pop one of these on. This, these don't have any embossed lines, at least not, not that I see. Right? No. So you're just going to pick one or whatever. <laughs> and so there we go. And, you know, his little arm can be up, can be going down like this, however you want to face it. You know, if you want to put it on this side, it can be down. If you want to put it over here, it's going to be kind of curved up. You can play with those however you like. Um, okay, and then his little body... We're going to have to get some accent pieces going on here. What's so cute is that this cuts a belly button, like a little X for his belly button, which is adorable. So you don't have to run that back through to get, like, a piece from that, you know, for that. Um, and then as far as his eyes, you can run the same dye through again to get the white of the eyes if you want that. Or just put a white piece of paper behind the back. I think I'm going to run it through again and get the white going. And then I'm going to run these other little guys through some black. So I'm just getting that. And again, there are little etched lines for that. So cute. He's just going to come to life. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to stick them all down, though. Like I said, I don't know that I'm going to make him dancing today. But he doesn't, you know, he can dance. He doesn't have to dance. Whatever it is you like. Um, so if you want to do dancing, you just put, um, a, again, a foam dot. Actually, I have some here this little foam dot and I like that they're making the hole bigger so that if you have a quarter inch which is kind of the standard size you you can just put a quarter inch circle stick that down and then put your pieces on top of that okay um but like I said I think I'm gonna stick him all together so let's just put some glue on there and his little body so cute and I'll stick his little arms down in just a moment because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to position them for now. Okay, so I'm going to run this one back through to get the white of the eyes. Just a little white piece of paper in this area. Um, let's go ahead and get the accents for his eyes. So I'm going to run this through some black paper. That is going to give us these little antler horn looking things. So I suppose if you want to, you know, use them, you can just go for it. I think I'm going to give him the little horns. Uh, let's see if he has little horns. Do we go with like this little hat and maybe with a little puff? I think these are all the accents for the puffs. Everything on here is supposed to be cut out in white, right? So let's say he has little horns. Let's say he has a cute little hat. <laughs> and then I'll run this through also some white paper. And while I'm at it, might as well get my mug. So cute color for the mug. And then this also, I'll run through the white paper to get a little white whipped cream or whatever. Um, oh, he can have a scarf too. Should he have a scarf? Okay, let's do a scarf also. <laughs> <laughs> He's all decked up. All right, I'll be back. I ran everything all at once, so let's we'll play with that in just a moment. So eyeballs, let's get those going. Um, I was like, where is my tacky tool? Well, we'll just do it old-fashioned way here. <laughs> I get my pieces. Just pop them in just the way they came out, you know. So that's that. We have a little hat, and I just ran everything through the one color of paper. I mean, if you want to make an accent for, like, the scarf, I would go with, like, a darker red and a lighter red so that there's some differentiation there. But I'm not doing that right now. 
it's going to look something like that. So I'm just going to put a little glue here. I should get his eyeballs going because he looks scary right now. <laughs> but there you go. We'll put that on when we're ready. And I did it in red just to make it a little more Christmassy. Um, I will say, oh, you know what? I stuck his whole head down. But let's see if I can get that on there. Um, I have my little mug and I just did like a blue color that I thought was cute. Um, this part. So on this one, I did like a creamy color, pearlescent white. And I think that's cute, but it also cut out his little tooth. And I'm like, oh, that's perfect. So I can stick that in there, hopefully. I don't know if I can do it now. This is not going to be pretty, guys. I totally forgot about his little tooth. If you want the tooth, you don't have to put a tooth. But we're going <laughs> to try to get in here. Oh, you know what I should do? Hold on. So if you were going to put the tooth, I would slide that in there before you stick things down, of course. I said that funny. I don't know why before it came out so funny. Okay, I'm going to try not to destroy him. Let me put this tooth down. I know I didn't put that much glue, so it's not, you know, because I never do. I always put, like, the smallest amount of glue, but I think I put the glue in a way that is down in this area, and I needed that to be available. Hmm. Let me get some... <laughs> oh, this is funny. Uh, my friends here told me about you do or something like that. Uh, undo, sorry. Or, no, what? I can't remember. But some kind of glue stuff that you put and it undoes, it, you know, opens up whatever you stuck down, right? And I'm like, I have never heard of that in my life. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I think it's close to my face to get this in there. And um, I guess this would have been a good spot for that. Hold on, I'm going to destroy something. I'm going to have to do this off camera, but you see what I'm doing? I'm going to pick this up. I have to get it close to my face, guys, anyway. There we go. Maybe that's better. And then get that little tooth in there. And if I had known, I wouldn't have destroyed our little guy so badly there. Yeah, because now it's kind of crazy, but that's all right. Okay. Aww. Okay. I guess I didn't have to get off camera. Okay. Um, we're going to glue this guy. You do? Undo? What is it called, guys? You let me know. And then um, they had shown it to me. We were in the Anna Griffin Create. And, uh, and I was like, I don't know why. It looks like it would smell like gasoline. Does it smell like gas? And they're like, yeah, it smells like lighter fluid. And I'm like, I don't know. Just if you know about solvents and like mineral spirits, all these things... They do have like a gassy smell, and just looking at it, I'm like, it looks like it would smell like gas. <laughs> just look at the bottle. Um, and apparently it does, so that's good. Or I don't know if that's good, but at least I know about it. Okay, um, this was the little eyeballs. And you know, the eyeballs, depending on how you place them, they're going to look like they're looking up or looking down or looking crazy, so you definitely want to place those in a cute way. Um, I think what's suggested is that they face out, so like this little white, would shine through that little edge. I'll show you right now. I need my tacky tool, guys. Um, so let's just hold that there. Oh, how cute. You know, something like that. He's adorable. And then the other little eye. Basically facing the same way, but in the other direction. So I'm just putting a little glue there. I, was like, I guess even if he looked cross-eyed, I think it'd be cute. But that's really adorable. Look at him just coming to life there. Okay, we did that. We did this. We have his hat. We have his little horns. So I need to kind of arrange how his horns are going to show behind his hat if we're going to go with both things. And then what else do I got here? Oh, so like I said, this white one has all the puffs. So, I mean, honestly, if you want to put a puffy brim on this hat, you can, right? It's really meant for the Santa hat, but you can put it on this guy if you thought it was cute or if you want to do that. Um, he also has a couple little puffs. There's like this one, which I think goes with that because I think this one goes with the Santa hat. See how it's like tiny? There's also another little bit there um, for in that same hat, the red. So I'm kind of curious what that might be. Maybe it looks like a nose, but I mean, he doesn't really need that here. So I don't know. Maybe it's another way to change his appearance. <laughs> All right. Let me stick this down and then we look clear everything off. And then we'll get him going with a little sentiment and everything or whatever. So we'll stick that. Okay. Oh, let me clean up. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to put the little cuff on there just to make it all snowy and cute. So there you go. But, you know, it could look like a rolled brim. You don't have to do that. So, we got that little guy on there. Cute. Okay, so let's see about all this. So, maybe arms first. 
I don't know. Let's see what we got going. This one can be up like that. Because he's holding his little cocoa. <laughs> I was going to say, am I going to put it so that it's holding up so high that he's like spilling it? Yeah, we don't want it that high. A little bit more out this way, guys. <laughs> he's going to pour his cocoa on his head. Okay, there we go. And then this other little arm can be kind of just kind of hanging down here, I suppose. Little cutie. Um, I just kept these horns from the black paper just so you can kind of see what those look like, if that's what you want better. Oh, you know what? Well, no, I don't know. I was say maybe that's what that red nose is, so he looks more like he's dressed up like Rudolph. So, something to think about. Maybe not black, right? But if you're doing it every day and you want him to look like a little monster, then I would say go with that. So now I can put this guy down. Let's see where I'm going to put that little cutie. <laughs> That is so cute. Okay. And we'll hold that down. I'll be right Maybe back. Maybe next, the little hat. Let's see if he's just kind of here. Cute. And then I'll do his little horns. I just want to see where we're putting the hat first. If it's going to be right on top of his little head. I put it a little bit sideways. Because it looks like, it kind of looks like his head's tilted a little bit. Isn't it? Isn't it? Doesn't it? I don't know. Okay. And he's so cute. Um, I'm not quite playing this right now. I'm just going to pop it there and see what that looks like. Aww. <laughs> so one little horn there. Oopsie. What am I doing? Just putting glue on the back of the horn. That's not going to help. And maybe one like right there. And I guess I can put that on last because basically he's just going to stick down. But there we go. And let me look through some sentiments and things so we can just pop them on and be done there. Okay, I went through my little box. I always keep a bunch of sentiments in. And this one, you know, it's blue and it's cute and it's the same color. And I mean, I have tons of them I can <laughs> pop on there. But I thought it was very cute making spirits bright. But I will say it's a little too like just blue and just kind of flat so I was thinking about backing it up oh we can back it up with the purple nah, I don't know um, and then just cutting it down also you know maybe white white's probably better just to make it crisp and clean so what I'm gonna do is um, well okay a couple things <laughs> I was gonna say I can measure this and I know it's a quarter inch wide so maybe I cut something that is let me see that's quarter inch I don't know if I have good numbers on this thing uh, a 3 8 inch strip um, I'll try so I recently dropped my amazing spellbinders trimmer and it cracked I'm gonna eyeball this and that's a quarter inch basically from here to here usually I think so I'm gonna add a little bit extra anyway um, and just that little knob that holds it on right here it like broke so I'm like, oh. so I need to replace that I just haven't had a chance yet I'm definitely getting another spellbinders one I love it okay see I eyeballed that and that works so three eighths of an inch and then I'll dovetail with my scissors or whatever so put this back on here glue this baby down and give myself a little bit on that edge there because I know when you dovetail you if I put it real close it wouldn't look right I need to have room for that I actually should bring it down still a little bit more from there and what I mean by that is like when I go to cut it here I can just follow the shape but generally what I do when I dovetail is I'll like give myself a little center point and then go from the corner to that center point and same thing on this side not bad right okay i'll do the same thing on the other side uh, okay and so i will probably put this little guy right here cute uh, i put dimensions on that sorry 
didn't mention that. And then this guy, I'm just going to hold it down so I'm putting quite a bit of glue because he does have quite a few layers here. And then I have that embossing back there. So let's just really get him on there. And he's just a little cutie. Okay, I'm going to hold that down and I will be back. Okay, guys, and here's our little cutie. So sweet. So thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much, Spellbinders, for today's items for review. I do have some of the other new collections to try out for you guys, so I will definitely get on that very soon. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll have the links um, in the description box. I'll have images coming up, and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.